And God bless you. I hope this day finds you doing well and all family and friends are doing good. This is our Tuesday morning pastoral chat and uh, it's always good to take time to visit with you. Uh, all of that being said, I want to share with you something from the word of the Lord. And I'm going to Job chapter 14, verse 7 through 9. And I want to read a few verses of scripture there in your hearing. And uh, I'm reading from one of my old Bibles. This is one of my first Bibles that was given to me when I first started in the ministry. Uh, well, another year or so, it will be 50 years. And so I've had this Bible for at least, I know, 45 of those years. But I'm reading from Job chapter 14, verse 7. And he said, For there is the hope of a tree, if it be cut down, that it will bud again, or it will sprout again, and that the tender branch thereof will not cease. Though the root thereof wax old in the earth, and the stalk thereof die in the ground. Notice what he said in verse 9. Yet through the sin of water, he said, it will bud and bring forth boughs like a plant. As I was giving thought to these words in the book of Job, my mind began to think about the fact that God noted that hope could be as small as the scent that perhaps maybe a tree would have in picking up on the, on the water or the moisture that was nearby. He likened it unto the hope of a tree. Just the simple scent of water is the hope of a tree. And he's likening that unto our hope today. And so I'm happy to tell you that if in this world only we had hope, we'd be of all men most miserable. But our hope goes beyond uh, the life that we're living today. And we're anchored in something far more solid and eternal. And that's the promises of God and the great place that the Lord has prepared for each and every one of us. You see, every message and every song that is sung brings hope. Every disposition and expression of kindness that you share with friends and loved ones plants a great seed of hope. I would like to encourage you today, whether it's just simply through a smile or perhaps maybe it's a hand on the shoulder or perhaps it's sharing a verse of scripture with a loved one, you and I have the ability of changing the atmosphere that this world is in by simply sharing the good words of God in a spirit of hope. You may think, well, pastor, I have little to say. I'm not that well versed in the word of the Lord. And it's so for that purpose that I have chosen this particular text. For the writer did not say at the outpouring or the gushing forth or the spontaneity of some springing well that a tree has hope. He said at the mere scent of hope, the smallest particle of moisture he said that you can imagine at the smallest piece of moisture that you can imagine, he said the hope of a tree uh, has it that it will appear to be dead, but yet that smallest little bit of hope will cause that tree to take root again and begin to give forth boughs like a plant and it will bud forth. And uh, you don't know who you're going to brush shoulders with today. It may be someone there in your home. It may be a spouse. It may be a a teenager, it may be a small child, but I think it's important that every one of us are busy spreading hope, spreading the life-giving moisture of hope that comes from the Word of God. It could perhaps maybe be just humming an old gospel tune or be singing a song of praise in your home. You can change the atmosphere from depression and fear to an atmosphere of hope, and it will surprise you what it will bring to surface in the lives of those that are downcast and ready to give up. I think of the words in Romans, Romans chapter 12 and uh, verse 12. When he talks about hope, he says, rejoicing in hope. Rejoicing in hope. Hope is something that brings rejoicing. A mother has the hope of a child, and it's that expectation of good things that are going to happen that gives her the ability to carry that child through all the pain and the sacrifice of the nine months of that child she carries 
she still does it with a smile and does a lot of other things, taking care of things around the house because she is bolstered and strengthened by the expectations through hope. And the church is no way different. You and I, as we begin to sing and talk about the good things of God, we are able to bolster others' faith and to support them and encourage them by singing songs and gospel tunes and sharing verses of Scripture. Those around us are once again reminded that our hope goes beyond the temporal things of this life, and we have something great and wonderful to look forward to. The great hope that I would share with you today is that no matter what you're facing, no matter what you're feeling, that before this day ever dawned, the Lord Jesus Christ knew exactly what kind of strength and help that you would need to get through it. And he has appropriated everything necessary for you to be successful. So take that hope with you today, I pray, and let's continue not only to joy, but the writer said, let's rejoice in the Lord. Amen. In other words, joy and joy again, because when we rejoice, it strengthens our hope. And let's keep our hope and our joy going forward. God bless you. We love you. Look forward to seeing you soon. Amen. Please like, comment, and subscribe.